Happy Easter to you. Today the Gospel speaks to us about the two disciples meeting Jesus on the road to Manus. And then later, Jesus appeared to them again. And this Gospel speaks about Jesus helping the disciples open their mind to understand the Scriptures. Obviously, the Bible is important. And in fact, in Medjugorje, which I've spoke of many times, it's the city in Bosnia where many people believe that Mary has appeared on several occasions. And there, she's encouraged us to read the Bible. So why is it so important for us to read it? Well, I think I have a pretty good answer. St. Jerome, who was a biblical scholar, uh, died back in the year 420 AD. He said, ignorance of the Bible means ignorance of Christ. So if we don't read the Bible, then we don't know about Christ. And we need to read us to help us understand him. Also, when you go to marry someone, you want to know who they are. You want to see what their family's like, what their friends are like, maybe even the house that they grew up in. Maybe look at old photos from when they were growing up. And all of that is important because it helps you gain a better understanding of that person and to know them better. It's the same way with the Bible. When we read it, we come to understand God and Jesus much better. And we can have a relationship with him and we understand his teachings. But when we, and we understand what happens when we break away from him. And in the Old Testament, it even talks about God's plan to send his son, Jesus Christ. I know that there are many deaf people who struggle to read the Bible because it's written in, in such tough English. But I would suggest that you could buy a version that's written in a little easier English. As well, there are so many great biblical stories on DVD and ASL that you could watch. I remember as a kid reading the, trying to read the Bible, and it wasn't easy. It was quite boring because it's not written like any other novel. So what I suggest is that you take one or two chapters each and every day, and then think about them, and then read two more the next day. And do that on again and again. And over time that will help you to understand God. And I think that it's important that we pray to the Holy Spirit and ask Him to help open our minds and our heart to the Bible as we read it. Thank you and God bless you.